we are continuing from where we left off in this next um, session, where we had the equation not separable, but it is homogeneous. And so we first looked at homogeneous tests in the previous session. Now in this session, I'm going to take you through how to make it separable. That's given it is homogeneous. So the three diagram here is that, is my equation separable? Let me change the pen. Is my equation separable? No. Is it homogeneous? Yes. It means that I can make it what? Separable. So the steps here, I would I'll outline them. Is this one? Write your differential form. We've gone through standard form and then differential form. Two, we want to use a transformation that will make it separable. And this transformation is given as y equal to x u of x. Or someone will just write y equal to x u. Bearing in mind that u is a function of x. Now what we do thirdly is to differentiate. So I write this as equation. So equation one, differential term, equation two, transformation. After differentiate equation, to differentiate equation two. Now you realize that because u is a function of x, and I already have x here, I have to use the product rule. And so dy dx would always be maintain the first variable, differentiate the second. Plus, you maintain the second variable, differentiate the first. This is what we will have. If I want to simplify this further, you realize that if I multiply two by the dx, I have dy equal to x du dx times dx plus u dx dx is one times dx. This cancels out to be one. Writing it properly, I'll have dy equal to x du because this and that cancels out plus u dx and that is how we obtain equation nine to write from equation two i can go straight ahead and use equation three or in my slide it is equation nine the fourth step is that you substitute equation three and then equation two into your differential form, which I had at equation one. But in my slide, it is substitute equation nine and eight into equation seven. When you do the substitution properly, your equation must now be separable. And then you can go through the separable approach and then solve for your unknown. So I'll take two examples for this session. Example one. It says solve the differential equation y prime equal to 2x plus y all over x. You would agree with me that this is a first order differential equation. And so if I want to write a differential form, this is the same as dy dx is equal to 2x plus y all over x. If I do a cross multiplication, I have x dy is equal to 2x plus y dx. This is the differential form. Now I'm taking this example, you would know that this is not separable. You can try that out. That is one differential form. Two, I use a transformation. The transformation is y is equal to x u. Then the derivative dy is equal to x du plus u dx. I've already explained how to get these terms. The test scenario is to substitute equation two into equation one. Let's look at the substitution carefully. From equation two to equation one, my x maintains, but well, there's no x term here. But the y is, let me make it 2a and then 2b, that will help. So 2a and then this is 2b. The y here is found here, 
to b so x into bracket x du plus u of x is equal to 2x because i don't have x term here plus y y is here so x is x u dx that is all for the substitution then I can expand. So here I expand and make it separable. I'm going to get s squared du plus x u dx is equal to 2x dx plus x u dx. Now I have to group like terms. If I group like terms, this cancels out that it becomes zero. And so I'm left with just having x squared du is equal to 2x dx. Is this separable? No. Separable means I should have terms in u only and then what? x only. How do I get that? It will be interesting to divide both sides by x squared. It means I move the x to this part of the equation. So x squared dx. Simplification I have. 2 over x dx du. And at this point, this is separable because I have u only and I have the x terms only. You know what to do from here. You have to integrate and then solve for the unknown. The unknown here is u. Let me do the integration. I have integral du is equal to integral 2 over x dx. If I integrate respect to the u, I have u because the constant here is one is equal to negative two over x squared plus the constant of integration. Sorry for that if I, I didn't do integration here correctly. I'm integrating respect to x. If I integrate 1 over x dx, the answer is what? Len x. So it means you have 2 len x plus a constant of integration. Now, this is not my answer. You know why? Because the original problem was given in terms of y and then x. It is not u and x. It is y and x. It means that from here, I have to do a change of subject. Y was given as x u. It implies u is equal to y over x. So I do a substitution here. Y over x is equal to 2 ln x plus c. And y will be equal to x into bracket 2 ln x plus c. This is my solution. So always ensure it is safe problem before you go ahead and then solve for the unknown. I hope this is well understood. The second example. Example two, I have y prime is equal to s squared plus y squared all over x, y. Because it's an example under first order, it would not be safe problem. Is it homogeneous? I must test. But first, you need a differential form. So I have dy dx is equal to s squared plus y squared all over xy. With the cross multiplication, I have xy dy is equal to x squared y squared times dx. Test for homogeneous. I take this and then I take that and then it must be homogeneous of the same degree. So I take the first component here. M of xy which is M of lambda x Lambda y and it's equal to 
If I do a substitution, I have lambda x times lambda y. This is the same as homogeneous of degree one. It means I have to ensure that, sorry, lambda square. It means I have to ensure that the second component is also of degree two. Lambda x, lambda y. With the substitution I have, lambda square x square plus lambda square y square. If I factorize lambda square out, I have s square plus y square. This is also homogeneous of degree two. So because they are all homogeneous of degree two, it means I can make it what's separable. Let's see what we can do. How do we make it separable now? I use the transformation. The transformation is such that y is equal to x u. And then the y will be equal to x d u plus u dx. And so I substitute 1a, 1b into my differential form, into this differential form here as star. So let me rewrite the differential form below for us all to see. So the differential form is s squared plus y squared or the x is equal to x, y, dy. Let's do the substitution together. There's no x squared in 1a, 1b, so that one maintains. What about y squared? I have y here. So if I square that part, I have s squared, u squared, or the x is equal to, there's no x in here, so that one maintains. And then I have y here, which is also x u. The last thing is the y, which is what, 1b. And that gives me x du plus u dx. Now you must expand and then do your factorization and everything you must do from here. And then ensure it becomes separable because you've done a homogeneous test. This is the last example, so I hope you understand. If I expand this, I have s squared dx plus s squared u squared dx is equal to s squared u, sorry. Okay. Let me just take my time over here with that one. s squared u multiplying the entire expressions here. So this is equal to s cubed u du plus s squared u squared dx. Then I maintain my left-hand side expressions. If I should simplify this, realize that the second term here and then this term goes to zero. And so the final expression is s squared dx is equal to s cubed u du. Is this separable? No. I told it's separable. You want to ensure that you can write the terms as u only and then what x only. How do I make this equation separable? I'll have to divide my term here by s cubed to have the u terms alone. And in doing that, I'll have 1 over x dx is equal to u du. Now this is separable. And you go to the separable steps, which we've done earlier on. The interesting thing here is that if it's not separable, you can test if it's homogeneous and hence it becomes separable. And so that is the last example for that. You can take what I have on the checks here and verify that it is homogeneous or it is separable or not. So we'll take that as an exercise. It says that find a solution of vein prime minus 2v equal to x. The question is, is this separable? If yes, you know what to do. If no, what do you do? You test if it is homogeneous. 
If yes, we are good to go, make it separable. If no, then what do we do? And that brings us to the end of this section. I hope you can go over and then understand whatever has been um, discussed so far. See you in the next session called Linear Equations.